Welcome people, welcome back to another episode of The Scenes and thank you for tuning in again. So we love a cinematic film look, color grading. It's juicy, lovely, rich thing that makes us like, you know, oh, I wanna do this color grading, I wanna this look. But learning the clean, natural, commercial look, which doesn't exaggerate the scene that much is also good for you. You can use it sometimes and knowing the neutral point of color grading will help you to you know, level up your filmmaking and color grading skills. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a clean, natural, commercial look in DaVinci Resolve 17. And as always, let's breathe a new life into the footage. Enjoy. So this time I'm gonna use this footage. It's raw file, but uh, what I'm gonna do is pretty much the same as when I deal with log. So don't worry. I believe there are many things that you can use for your thing. So first I'm gonna deal with primary, like starting off with contrast. Well, it's not that flat. You know, there is some contrast and color going on. So I do a little here. And plus, I don't want to overdo the contrast for clean, natural look. Especially, I want to take care of this model and the shadow. So first, I'm going to gain the contrast with this slider. But just a little bit. See, okay, something like this. So now, let's open the contrast between like the gamma and lift. So first, I'm just going to bring this gamma up. Okay, I will do like this. And now, obviously, the shadow, the dark area is lifted, so I'm just gonna bring this lift down. Okay, I will stop right here. And slightly adjust highlight with this, you know, highlight slider. I'm just gonna reduce it just a little bit. Something like this. And let's get a little bit more saturation, but just a little bit. Okay, this should be fine before after before after actually that's it for primary later i'm gonna use hdr wheels for detailed light control but now the color looks weird you know it's shifted to you know orange you know red so hard it's kind of difficult to see what's going on with lights here so before hdr i'm gonna make this color more natural you know the center Okay, first thing first, I'm gonna slide this temperature to blue for reducing the you know, total red from this image. So I'm just gonna slide it to blue cold side. Somewhere around this. Now, it's better, but I'm just gonna use a gamma and gain to get more natural look. So this time I want to you know crisp like white for highlight especially you know for this highlight of of her face here and those water drops they must be a pure clean white. Well, this is important if you want a like, clean, natural look. Just take care of your highlight color. So I'm gonna move this gain to cyan, which can reduce red from highlight. But still, looking at the image totally, it's shifted to now it's kind of yellow and orangish. So move this gamma to also cyan, but be careful amount of you get because if it's too much, you know, it damage the skin tone. So I'm just gonna move this point to around here. This should be okay. Okay, let's do the before and after. Okay, before, after, before and after okay now we can say this image looks natural you know contrast and color are very you know average normal you know natural but it's kind of weak you know you know this will work you know no one will complain about this but we want more like crispy feel right so here i'm gonna use hdr wheels for detailed light control if you want to know how to use it here's a video for you so first i'm going to apply the highlight this highlight on this brightest uh, highlight area of her face which is basically around the left side of her face so i'm gonna make sure that I am covering the area with this highlight. I'm just gonna do like this. You know, it's definitely the key of this scene. 
you know this highlight is making that you know gorgeous you know beautiful clean feel so i'm gonna get more detail of it so i'm just gonna bring this highlight up see now this highlight looks more like sharp and crispy okay let me do it before and after this is a before after watch carefully around this area before after before after huge difference and not only that area of her face let's make the you know total image a little bit more brighter highlight this image and i'm going to apply light on like this gamma area like except uh, in a shadow in a dark area and also i'm gonna bring this up okay i will do like this but not finished yet let's tighten the shadow so i'm going to apply the shadow except her face and body so which means around here and i'm going to bring this down to tighten the shadow so i'm gonna stop right here okay let's do the before and after this is before kind of flat you know the contrast color very average but after very nice like it's it's contrasty but not too much very natural clean look obviously it's crispy sharp very detailed so wide dynamic range very nice okay now let's adjust the position of colors here so first i'm gonna use hue versus saturation so i'm gonna lower red and orange to reduce the saturation from her so i'm just gonna select this point and go down select this point and go down and i'm gonna get a little bit more saturation for those greens at back so i'm going to grab this green like a light green and just going up i will do like this and moving to hue versus luminance i'm going to grab this light green and pull up see now that you know greens at back is getting more brighter so this is before after before and after so next one is skin tone so here i'm gonna use both of window and qualifier and i'm gonna pull her face out of the you know image first i'm gonna create the window so i'm just gonna draw the like a simple easy mask for her the total body including her face and you know the body we're not going crazy for this and going to tracking tool and switch it to the frame mode which allows me to track this manually so i'm just going to hit the play and i'm going to stop it and then move this mask like this and play it stop it move it Play it, stop it, move it, and I'm just gonna repeat it until I, I you know, covered this model completely. Good. So let's replay. Yep, this window is tracking horror. Nicely. Good. Okay, I'm done like this. And as always, I'm gonna use qualifier to just sample her face. Okay, highlight the image. Just like this, and I'm gonna select her face. just like this i'm gonna add denoise and blur radius i think this should be okay it's not a perfect but i think it'll work and now moving to the curve right here just a normal curve and i'm gonna grab this center point and bring it up just give her face extra light yeah just like this yeah and also i'm gonna lower the shadow point to get a little bit more contrast on her face so around here just grab it and lower it down i will do like this before after before and after very good and let's lower the mitten detail to make her face more softer so i'm just gonna go like negative 20 ish yeah more creamier softer nice and using hue versus option first hue versus hue 
and I'm gonna make a point on red and yellow and I'm gonna lower this red to yellow side so I'm gonna bring this down just a little bit I think this looks good okay and moving to hue versus saturation I'm just gonna lower the yellow let's you know make it chill a little bit so now it's too like you know it pops out so I want to reduce the color from her face a little bit so I'm just gonna reduce this yellow just like this more natural more clean and at the last hue versus luminance so i'm gonna bring the yellow up basically around this you know bright area i'm just gonna do yeah maybe like this so this is before after before and after so most of the time those two steps which is hue versus saturation and hue versus luminance i always reduce the saturation of yellow and bring the luminance of it that way face will look very natural okay let me stop for a while to introduce today's sponsor art grid art grid is a royalty free footage platform for filmmakers from all over the world you can get high quality graded footages and also log and raw file like this time so if you want to boost your filmmaking and your color grading skill just hit the link below now with my link you can get two extra free months thank you so next one is log usually when i make a film look this is where i do a lot but this time we want a natural look so i do a few things here first shift the shadow to cyan a little you know for getting cool solid shadow so i'm going to move this to cyan and this looks nice and shift this highlight to magenta red basically this is for those flowers I'm gonna do like this. So this is before, after, before, and after. Well, that's it, nothing crazy. Just two small adjustments. If you want a clean, natural look, just don't overdo log wheels, especially shadow, like stay balanced. And as the final step, I'm giving the glow to this image. And from open effects, I'm going to choose just glow and apply this on this node. So this is a very powerful tool when you want to make highlight more you know, creamier and softer. I'm just gonna select a soft light here. And there are many things, but most of the time, shine threshold and spread gain and global blend those four will change the image a lot so i'm using only them rest of them stay as are so i'm just going to quickly set this up okay just like this so this is before after before and after you know before it's already good you know you can finish it right here but after it's more gorgeous like especially this highlight area is you know more emphasized but it's soft and creamy okay that's it now i'm gonna turn off all of this and let me take you to the journey of all processes we did to get this look from this flat raw file enjoy Welcome back. How was it? So important things when you make a clean, natural, commercial look were first, don't overdo contrast and saturation. Especially you want to take care of the you know, amount of shadow. You don't want a crazy crashed shadow. Second, make the color balanced even. Third, get a clean, pure white for highlight. This time I used HDR wheels. And fourth, don't overdo log wheels. Those four major things. If you want to get this clean, natural, but crispy commercial look, just try them. If you did it, let me know how it went by email, comment below, Instagram, DM, whatever it works for you. Okay, this is it. If you have any questions about this color grading, don't hesitate to be don't hesitate to leave the comment below. And if you have any requests for next scenes, also leave the comment below. So today's week's pretty much it. And thank you for watching this video. If you like this one, show me a thumb and uh, hit the subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. As I say this line, as it gets faster and gets hard to hear. See you in the next video.